Hey Linux and security admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Sudo's about to unleash some new tricks on you, and I'm going to help you get up to speed on one of them. Policies. Before you install sudo 1.9, open a terminal window and issue the command sudo passwd root. You'll be prompted to enter and verify the new password. Back at the terminal window, download the necessary .deb files with the following commands. wget https colon slash slash www.sudo.ws slash sudo slash dist slash packages slash 1.9.0 slash sudo underscore 1.9.0-1 underscore ubu 1804 underscore amd64.deb wget https colon slash slash www.sudo.ws slash sudo slash dist slash packages slash 1.9.0 slash sudo dash ldap underscore 1.9.0 one underscore ubu 1804 underscore amd64.deb wget https colon slash slash www.sudo.ws slash sudo slash dist slash packages slash 1.9.0 slash sudo dash log srvd underscore 1.9.0 one underscore ubu 1804 underscore amd 64.deb wget https colon slash slash www.sudo.ws slash sudo slash dist slash packages slash 1.9.0 slash sudo dash python underscore 1.9.0-1 one underscore ubu 1804 underscore amd64 dot deb install these packages with the command sudo dpkg dash i star dot deb change to the root user with the command su create a new policy with the command nano slash root slash policy dot py in that file paste the code shown in the article below Save and close the file. Now we need to enable this policy. Open the sudo configuration file with the command nano slash etsy slash sudo dot conf. In that file, locate this section. Plug in sudoers underscore policy sudoers dot so. Plug in sudoers underscore io sudoers dot so. Comment out the first line and add the new line so it will look like pound Plug in sudoers underscore policy sudoers dot so. Plug in sudoers underscore io sudoers dot so. Plug in python underscore policy python underscore plugin dot so. Module path equals slash root slash policy dot py. Class name equals sudo policy plugin. Save and close the file. You now need to either open a terminal or SSH into the machine with a new instance. Once you've done that, issue the command sudo ls. You will then see that you are no longer allowed to run the command. If, however, you issue the id command, you'll see that it works. If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.